your phone. I know, I got it. Oh, God. I told you to never call me on my cell. I don't know what Janet was doing her job, but she should be screening my calls with fire eyes. No, look, no, it's not going to happen again. So just, you don't need to... Well, yeah, there, there are consequences. Yeah. And I told you, it's not gonna... Okay, fine. No, come on, don't. Please don't, just don't start crying. I'll just, I'll... Fine, I'll meet you at the place, okay? Just... You just need to know that that's not, it's... Okay, okay, fine. Um... Uh, I'll meet you in about an hour. All right? Okay. Who was it? Oh, God. And it scared me. Who's yeah. on the phone? Uh, it, was, it was Janet from, from Janet, work. your secretary, Janet? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to go in and sign some stuff, so I gotta, oh. I gotta go to work. Michael. I know, I you know. You just got back. I thought maybe we could stay for group tonight. Eric yeah. played this drinking game last week. You would have loved it. They didn't They didn't drink your stuff. He brought this rum punch thing. It's mm. funny. And I got drunk. No, mm, it's too bad for me, I guess. I'll see. Okay. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. I know a lot of couples in trouble, so I'm starting a group for therapy. Group therapy without the therapist. And the genius part? I'm going to video the meetings and make a documentary out of it. We're going to show people. You don't have to have money to get. Just trying to get a hold of Jerry. She's supposed to meet me here. What are you doing? Oh, I'm hiding Lucille from Tom. I had to restring her after the last meeting and then she got a nick in her soundboard. You could have left her at home. How long have you been married to me? Dating's at a private meeting with Lorraine. Oh, adoption agent Lorraine? Yeah. Hey, Kenny. Hey. <laughs> Where'd you get talk? Uh, I'm sure it's all good. Um, Scarlett, you are so naive. Right now she's recommending that Danny file for sole guardianship that I submit for joint custody later. Well, why? Is that how it's done? For the gays and anyone not legally married. Oh, please. The whole marriage thing so stupid. I, I, I mean, Tom and I got married by a judge, so what? Technically, I guess we're civil union. Yeah, you're married in the eyes of God. Me and Danny got what? married by an Episcopalian priest at the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens. Still, <laughs> doesn't count with the IRS. You're really married. You're not. Oh, government needs to pull its head out of its hole. Excuse me, I am so married. Oh, honey, you're right. But t Terry, Terry's right too. Judge Judy can legally marry two drunk people in Vegas, yeah. but Danny and I can't get married by a priest? <laughs> Fuck me, stupid. I'm gonna kill her. What? Oh. Please tell me that's Jerry's dad. Please, <laughs> please, please, please. He please. looks nothing like Archie Bunker. I'm disappointed. Hey, Roxanne, how about getting me one of those? They're on the fucking table. Terry, can. <clears throat> Fine. Whatever. Band me over, why don't you? Everybody, this is my pops. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> Detective Jan McSorley. Did you say Jan? Did he say Jan? That is so much better than anything I could come up with. <laughs> <laughs> Jan. <laughs> Jan. <laughs> you laughing at me? No. Me neither. My sweet mother was Danish. She named me after my great-great-grandfather, who was a sea captain. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, anybody have a problem with that? No, sir. No, I do not. My first year as a beat cop, I had to kick half the asses on the NYPD. So, anybody wants to go outside, I'd be happy to take you out and sew up your cunt for you. You wouldn't be mocking me now, would you, Mary Pat? What if I am? No, don't mock him. Please don't mock him. So, um, what does Jan mean in Danish? It means God's grace. Oh. Find yourself a chin on that. You're sitting in my fucking chair. Oh, I don't think so. It doesn't have your name on it. Terry, not tonight. Just... Oh. Oh. Hey, Terry. Hey. Why don't you give it up, Colin Farrell? Come sit by me. I'm sitting by my wife. Terry. Fine. Who's Colin Farrell? Oh, it's Terry because he's oh, yeah, Irish. You know what? No, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's my turn to run the meeting, and Dad is my ace in the hole. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, he had the highest confession rate in NYPD history, and he already scared the shit out of Tom. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna interrogate us? Emily, hide the pot. Young lady, are you concealing illegal narcotics in this residence? No, no, sir, just some Polish vodka and a little German beer. Jesus wept. Do the words made in the USA mean nothing to you? When we had problems at home, Pop would line us all up, all the kids, and then he'd interrogate us. Yeah. Remember when Eddie wet his pants? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that was a good time. Yeah, I don't think that's really a good idea. Kenny's not great under pressure. Oh, don't piss him no, off, please. No, it'll be fun. Start with me. Show him how it works. You sure should Yeah, yeah. Any, any subject you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the kids. Oh. Oh. Baby Kathleen can't sleep. Ian's going to set the house on fire. Jesse's already wearing makeup. Got, got the cabinet under the sink open yet there, John? Was I talking to you, shit for brains? Now, Timothy. He's 14. I Leave found him alone. in the house again. Yeah, you did off. not. Mm. Terry. I search his room and he goes to school. found it in the there. garage. Oh, in the garage. Oh, he wouldn't set Terry. foot inside the fucking garage. Wait, wait, wait. Deception. Guilty. Oh, what's going on? Standard interrogation technique. I can't believe you got me. Yeah, well, I got you for a reason. What so reason? You're going to have to deal with that kid. We did deal with him. Well, though. you dealt wrong. I can't believe she brought Officer Mac asshole to group. Fucking A. Deception belongs in the gorilla's toolbox. Always out of the monkey's reach. Always. What the hell is he talking about? Oh, uh, Tom went to face Lao Tzu this week. Uh, my waters are clear of oily residue and I can breathe, man. <laughs> in English, flop top. What's a flop top? I think it's a crack above my hair. Wrong end, Einstein. Yeah, that's a sensitive subject. If I can't question Limp Dick here about his visits to Chinatown, we may as well install video cameras. Oh, we, we, we do have video cameras. That thing's on? Fucking Well, great. wait a minute. It, it, it's not Tom's fault that our journey path didn't lead to pregnancy. She but She's right. There's Their path thingy took a different roadway. Right. Thank you, Jerry. See, that's a nice turnaround. No, 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 no. It's a guy's job to get the lady knocked up. I'm the only thing Irish has been any good for anyway. I'm sorry, Tom. He doesn't understand. Sure I do. He's half a fag. <gasps> no, he isn't. Oh? Then what's with the visits to Chinatown? Hey, I was a cop, man. I know what they do down there for the one-eyed snake that doesn't slither. Oh, what? Hey, that is completely offensive. Who put the stick up her ass? <gasps> Wait, I know. He did. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> it's all right, honey. If he can't get hard, somebody's got to. <laughs> Ted, that's enough. Look, I have no trouble performing. No, he doesn't. Mm. Then what's with the Chinaman? Lao Tzu is a spiritual advisor. Oh, does he live on mountaintop in Tibet? No, in Murray Hill. Ah, and what's he soaking you for? Nothing. It's not like that. Sure it is. Right, sweet cheeks? Well, okay, this week I did find out that in order to progress to the next level, we have to pledge 7% of our income. That's why you didn't swim through the briny waters to the eagle's nest? Yes, here, it yeah. is. Man, it's not so bad. I arrested a guy once for taking down 25%. Well, Lao Tzu is not a scam artist. Yeah, well, there's nothing to be ashamed about. You can't help it. You're perfect target. You're desperate, lacking, and stupid. How would you like to step into the bear's cave, my friend? If you don't start speaking English, I'm going to punch you in the nuts. Okay, that's enough. I get it. And what works every time, Geraldine. Good, good cop, cop, bad cop. cop. Oh. My daughter could have been a brilliant detective, but man, she got knocked up four times, three times by that fucking Irishman. Now look at this one. The shoulders hunched over and the chin pulled back. The eyes darting this way and that. Neurolinguistic interviewing. He's sitting on a powder keg. <laughs> no, he's not. We know why Kenny's mad. It's me. Ah, uh, come on. Who could be mad at a beauty like you? I'm not mad at her. No? You got your eyes going all up? Look, look, look at those eyes, man. Oh, jeez. You know what I think? I think you should pull your head out of your ass, kid, Mark. You're lucky a beauty like that even talks to you. Did you stop flirting with my wife? Is this what you did with Office Boy? Who's Office Boy? A uh, guy she used to work with. Oh, so shit for brains here has got a problem with the green eyed monster. No, no, I don't. And would you stop calling me names? It makes me. Look, she thought about cheating on me. No, I didn't. Of course she did. You're a useless pile of horse shit. Is he a mama's boy too? Shut up. Fuck shit, cocksucker. Oh, okay, we're done. Sit down, girly. No, he ain't. Look, look, she doesn't want. Fuck shit! Look, she doesn't know what she wants. <laughs> He's funny. I want you, okay? That's all no, I want. No, no, you don't. What does she want, son? She, she wants normal. An office guy is normal and, and uh, not an artist. And, and I want to be a normal guy. Tell her why. For you. Because I, I, I don't want to lose you. Kenny. Can I have a glass of water? Big girl's blouse. Water. So what you got? I do not appreciate a stranger coming in here and doling out nicknames. Okay. 
Now, Fat Albert here. Every time somebody says baby or kid, you, you cross your arms and you fold up like a Chinese egg roll. What's your beef, big boy? It's mm. Kinesic. It's not Fat Albert. He lost 57 pounds. I have no beef, Jan. Danny won't let me. Oh, God. Yeah. I know Molly used to get on me for what I ate all the time. It's going to get worse. He wants to raise the baby in a sugar-free, whole food zone. What does that mean? Yeah. It means no processed foods, no sugar, no Doritos, Mommy dearest. Molly used to make Jerry's baby food from scratch. What a woman. Yeah. Indeed she was. He's forming a bond with the subject. I don't care. So keep your ding-dongs at work? I do that already. <laughs> so what's the problem? You afraid of babies? Well, of course I'm afraid of babies. They poop and vomit and cry for no reason. And if you drop them on their head, they come back and shoot you when they're 15. Nah, I dropped Eddie once. Yeah, look, he turned up. Somebody ask you your opinion, potato head? What else, big boy? Well, what if Danny loves the baby more than me? Well, he will. That's the gig. Oh, my God. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, Molly loved the kids more than mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But she couldn't get through the day without me. Yeah, that's what she said. That's what Ma said. You're going to have to man up. He's going to need you. Thanks, Jan. That's a very hetero feeling. I'm impressed. Great. The whole baby thing's turning me straight. Since when did you use the word hetero? You know what your problem is, Rimrod. No. What's me fucking problem? You problem. got it all. Yeah? Yeah. A wife, a new baby, a great woman. I don't think the read technique is right for Tira. I mean, you even weaseled your way into my house. Fuck a weasel. You, you would have lost oh, your fuck, fucking fuck, house. Fuck, if fuck, you no, fucking no, hadn't... no. I would have sold my house. I would have made money. You had your baby sleeping in the kitchen. You needed me, not the other way around, fart face. But hey. I understand. I mean, it's it's the way the economy is these days, right? I mean, your business went under. It happens. Look at Floppy over there. That's the way the world is right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But sooner or later, you'll walk. Yeah. What? Oh, God. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. It's in your blood, isn't it? I mean, that's what your dear old dad did, what you isn't it? Of course, you dad. take one look at your mother, can you hardly blame You fucking take that back. Right. Listen, son, we both know that you're just not good enough for her. Why don't you leave now while the kids are still young enough you know to forget you? You know what? Shut the fuck up! around this fucking fuck. Oh, are you? Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. fucking hey, 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 who the hell can live up to a fucking decorated NYPD gun-toting war vet who just also happens to be a great fucking father? Look, I can't compete, okay? Well, I, I didn't know that that's the one. <sighs> Shit, son. I'm, uh, I'm touched. What are you on, your fucking period or something? For Christ's sake. Fucking give up. Jerry, we're out of here. Maybe we won't tell Michael about the almost fight thing. Always on the go, always on the run, always a step behind. I'm trying to get ahead, but I'm always in the back of the line. If I'm looking dead, it's cause I'm running out of time. Keep your chin held high, make it touch the sky, even if they're making you climb. Always on the go, always on the run, always a step behind. <laughs> He's funny. I want you, okay? All I want is you.